Hi, friends. Okay. I used those little cutouts that um, that I printed out yesterday of the birds. And I did a really simple little dangle with them. So I am going to show you guys how you t can do this. Now, instead of making paper, if that's not your thing, I can... I completely no, understand no, if you don't. don't want to put that much time in making one of these because probably the longest process in all of this is making your paper and not everybody is into making their own paper. Maybe you don't have a bunch of paints <clears throat> or a bunch of tools or maybe you just simply don't have the time to make your own paper. So, But maybe you've got washi tape. So let's just make some washi tape. Dangles. Dangles. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do, because I didn't do this before, is to print out my little birds. And I know that I said that I was going to put these into the... Um, I don't think for you. Into the... I can't think. Into the description box in my last video, and I failed to do that for you. Okay, let me but I am video. going to put this little guy in there this time. It's really windy outside, so we're not going to be able to go outside um, to the park today, which is a total bummer. But maybe I'll do it sometimes. Okay, so I am going to print these out, and I'm going to do it on a piece of cardstock. So, I, I'm not ready. You guys, I'm not prepared. I don't even have my printer on. So, while that's warming up, um, let me get rid of this. So, if you don't want to make paper on a pizza box or on any other sort of paper, you don't have to. You don't. Okay, all you need is a piece of cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to put that into my printer. It's warming up. It's a slow Joe printer. He's he's old. Really old. Old is a kind of goal. So we have to give it You're a chance. Um, I'm using this mixture, and I don't remember where I got this. I don't know if this was one of the mixtures that I got at the dollar. Ready, or not. No, it's still warming up. Um, I think maybe it is. And I dumped it all in here. Now these tiny little seed beads, the holes are too small. But I used um, these longer bars, these guys, out of it. Can you see those? Those fit onto my eye pins. Goodness. This is what they look like, yeah. No, I don't know. I think so. I think this is what it looks like. I like them, Grandma. This is what they look like at the Dollar Tree. Here's another one. And it's a, it, they're pretty good. I mean, you get this whole pack for a buck, so. Yeah. And here's this one. And they come two. in different colors. So, you know, if you're around a Dollar Tree, look for these. The girls are handing them all to me. Okay. And what? Back up. Sorry. These ones is... Okay, so I'm using those. Um, this is some of the tape that my friend Louise from Texas sent me. And she, it looks like she got this at Hobby Lobby in their clearance for a dollar. I think I can print this now. So this is what I'm using to make the pink and black. And I didn't double them. I just did a really a thin, boy. a really thin piece. Back up, both of you. So I'm going to print this and um, show you how simple this is. I actually still have a bunch of pieces on my thing, so. But I wanted to show you the tape. This is by Duct Tape, I think. I love duct tape. Duck. I see a duck. Duck. It just says duck. duck Easy tape. start. 
No, it's called a duct tape. Frustration free packing tape. So it, you could use your washi tape. This is packing tape. This is a little bit transparent, so you can kind of see through this a bit. Whoops, it cut some of his wing off, which I'm not going to worry about it. These ones I printed a little bit bigger, which is totally fine. Okay, let's catch you off. Oh, a part of me. What am I about to get? Okay, so here are my two birds. Um, I should have set it to the setting where it doesn't cut things off, but that's okay. We can make a new. Wing. I can tweak it and draw in my wing tip. Okay, I'll just have happened with pencils. Okay, yeah. So there. So on this one, um, you could do it a couple of different ways. You can flip it over and try to do it. But what I did is I just Once simply. Once again, Grandma. I'm just going to cut them out. Okay, so there's my two birds. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip them over and do this back side first. And I've got all of these little pieces here that I have left over from my other bird. And I'm just going to basically cover this. Now, it's going to look kind of patchy. And not perfect, but I don't care. Yeah. If you care, then cut your pieces, um, you know, strips of your pieces so that they um, are straight across and then try to line them up however you want to do it. This way, get it. For me, I'm not that particular about it.
So I'm going to punch this hole so I don't cover it up. So that's going to tell me where I can, where to put my um, eye pins. That's one side. I used up all of my scraps, so now I'm going to take some off the roll. You were the last wrap you had to use, right, Grandma? That's too little, Haley. Thank you, though. Grandma, you still okay? I make it dangle with these big birds. Okay, so now I'm going to put a piece in the center. Make sure I cut them all up. Can we try to be gentle to that birdie? Hard the days that we don't get to go to the park. And I'm going to cut another one that really likes to stick to my plexiglass. Okay, I'm going to take that piece off where I cut it because, for one thing, the corner folded over. And secondly, I don't like that line. And I'm going to butt it up against, even if you have to overlap it a little bit to cover the whole thing. And I'm going to cut it there. And then do the same thing here. I'm gonna cut it here. And since it didn't cover the tip of its wing, I'm just going to stick it on there. You guys couldn't even see that. Just piece it. If it doesn't fit, then just piece it. With this pattern, it doesn't, you can't even really tell. And if it bothers you, then by all means, match it up. This is where it didn't cover the tip of the wing, so I just pieced it there. Okay, and now I'm going to cut. So that one's done. I'm not going to tell you that it's not hard to cut out tape because it's, you know, not easy to cut out tape, <laughs> but you can do it. And now if, if you want to just make one, you can, but I did a double. So I'm going to draw this down here just so that it's even, and I'm going to put my second hole even with that first hole. Okay, so then that way I can hang the second bird from the first bird. Pretty bird. So this is my, no, that's my bigger bird template. Yeah, is that what I need? Is that how this I use is, this bigger bull bird to make no, it dangle? that's my template mm -hmm. for when I cut things out. How about this one? I can't use this one? No. Okay, so this is my other bird. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to flip it 
so I know where that hole is. Okay, so I'm going to put it down, fill where its tail is, cut it off, Stick. lift it up. It would be nice if you could like tape the whole thing and then cut, but I don't know how you would do that and still be able to see where your hole is. Where your design is to cut around it. So I'm going to take this piece and again I need to cut. I seem to fold a corner down. I don't know why I do that. I'm going to match it up and overlap it just a hair. Make sure everything is covered. Church, Grandma. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, and my wing tip is probably not going to be covered again. You guys can't see it again here. Let me see how it's not covered over here. Not a biggie. I'm just going to cut that, and then I can put this over here, and just kind of patch it. Okay, and then I need to peel, peel it off. If you want to make this less sticky, you can get like a piece of fabric. Like I can use Haley here and stick this on her. She's got pajama, a flannel pajama on and then peel it off. And see now it's going to be less sticky. She thought that was funny. And now it's got like little fibers on it. And now maybe it won't be as sticky. And a little bit less challenging for me to cut. De stick your tape. I won't be able to use the pieces now, but that's okay. It'll make it a little bit easier to cut. I'm all duct tape. Make those kiddos useful when they're standing here watching you. Stick your dangle to them to de-stick your tape. Or just, you know, it's easier to go on the straight line, so if you don't like cutting, then don't use a design that has um, such this really isn't that intricate, but you know, it does have a lot of a lot of curves to it. So you could use a straighter design. And that will make it a bit easier for you. This is really sticky tape too. I don't think that washi tape would be this sticky, but this is packing tape. Shipping tape. So it's pretty sticky. Thank you, Louise, for the tape. I love it. Love me some pink and black. Okay, so there's that side. Get it off of my scissors. Okay, so now I can punch my hole up here. Yeah, I punched the tape that time. 
Okay, so there's my bird. I'm gonna flip him over. Do the same thing. Put him the tape in the center. Make sure it's going past his beak. Nope, there you go. Did it again. I guess you know if I would utilize the tape roller. Hit that part. I just don't like that ripply. Mm, but it's on the other side. Cut that off. Sticky. Cover his wing. This tape sticking to me. I'll do it over here. Make sure I don't cut it too short. Get it up off of your desk. Think of something. This one's really stuck. Come on, birdie. Come on, birdie. go stick it to your kid tickle her up real good tickle her up real good there now it's less sticky my two birds. I just need to punch this hole Sticky. and I'm going to punch another hole down here. That's sticky, right Grandma? This pile of tape is sticky. Yep. Let me get rid of this pile. No, on a charger. Not for the sticky. On the charger. Okay. So there's my birds. No, it's okay. I can see these, Grandma. Now, see, this one's kind of purple because that paper, when it prints, it does like a blue. So one side is kind of purple, and one side is kind of pink. That doesn't bother me either. So see, this is the side that I kind of pieced. You can't really even tell. And then the other three sides are more pink. Um, 
just the strips so you can't really even tell one's pieced and the others aren't I just did that to use up my scraps all right so now we're going to add the beads and turn it into a dangle so what I'm using and if you don't have eye pins you can simply just use some wire but I'm using eye pins so I have two inch eye pins I just have them sitting so I have to pick them out and I need four so there's two three four I need one hook and then I need some jump rings and these are 10 millimeter jump rings you can use whatever size you have and, and I do these for you. Okay, so, and then I'm going to use the bigger beads out of this mix. So I'm going to start with the top here. I'm going to put my jump ring. Just set them down, sweetie. Why do you keep calling me a weedy? Because you are a sweetie. No, you And I'm going to put my... call me a weedy if I'm a baby. I'm going to put my eye pin on my jump ring, and I'm going to close it. Okay, and then I'm going to set it down on my table and then I'm just going to decide how I want to build this one or stack my beads. And you I'm do gonna... like a pattern. Yep, I'm going to do a pattern. So I, I might not use these ones again. I think I'm going to use a different paper bead. How about these? Uh, I think I'm going to use these. Wait, do you want to make more? I think I'm going to use these paper beads. They're black, white, and they have a little bit of pink in them. So I'm going to put one of those on. And, and this one is purple. Grab another rod. That first rod really wasn't the same color rod, but you know what? I don't care. I like this one. Because it's sparkly. Let's see if I can find another one of those dark rods and I can just kind of alter these rods. Okay, and I won't be able to fit another one on there. I know that this is kind of long. That's okay. I'm going to make my loop here. Why do you have two of these, Grandma? I'd like to bend it back so that I open up another jump ring, stick it on that loop I just made, and a hook. I need these. I love your hooks. And I'm close that back up. Okay, so now if you wanted to leave it like this, you totally could just leave it like that and just have one, maybe dangle something from there. But I'm going to hook these two together. Okay, so I'm going to take another jump ring. And I'm going to put it... But I love to give everyone know. Right, Grandma? I'm going to add another eye pin. And I'm going to close it. Okay, and then I'm going to follow the same pattern. See if I can find another one of those light pink ones. Another paper bead. And then a darker. There's a jump. What? The? Another paper. And then I have a darker one. Another paper. A lighter and one. And another paper for like this. I guess this is lighter. Okay, and then that's all I can fit on there. So I'm going to close this. Make my hoop. I like to bend it so that it's straight. I'm going to do an eye. I'm going to take my jump ring and 
jump ring? Why do you call that a jump ring, Grandma? Open that, because that's what it is. I'm going to take my bird. I'm going to put this, the one on his wing, the hole on his wing, close it. You need to find the heart, Grandma. Okay. And that's like that one, Now Grandma. they're hooked together. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to do this. Shh, 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 It's because it's not in that one. I'm going to take another jump ring, another eye pin. I'm going to close it. Okay. This one's bent a little bit, so I'm just going to straighten it out. Okay, I need a light. I got a heart. There's one. Oh, the ye. I'm not doing this on the bottom. Back it up. Oh boy. You could. I could. Should I? Oh, I did. Never mind. I'm on, I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. <laughs> You're not memory. Okay, I'm going to put that on there. A paper bead, and then I need a darker pink paper bead, a lighter pink paper bead. Pink bead. Oh, my pinks are kind of messed up, but I don't care. And I got the heart. Bend it over. Another jump ring. And I got the heart. Haley's got the heart. Put the heart. Well, I'd like to help. Close it. Now you know I am your fair girl. And now we've got this. You want to make another one look like this? Okay, you guys, and that is how you make a simple dangle with a bird tape and cardstock. No painted paper required. Seed beads everywhere. Escaping. Oh no. You gotta love seed beads, you know? They just like to go all over the place. Okay, I will take pictures of these two, so they're different. I was going to make a small one, but I printed the wrong size. So, as you can see, the one that I just made is quite a bit bigger. But I like these two. I like these three. Now, is it okay I make a thing that look like those? Sure, maybe we'll make one together. No, it's okay. Okay, you guys, it's so okay. I'm going to use these ones. it's just that easy. You don't have to have your own painted paper. If you wanted to, you could definitely just cut the shapes directly out of um, cardstock and not cover them at all. If you've, you've got some designer scrapbook paper that has cardstock quality or not, you could always cut you two out, over here. glue the papers together, and then cut your thing out. There's so many ways that you could do this if you don't want to paint your own paper. Um, I hear fuzz. I was going to put this on some paper, but... Who's like of this one? Yes, I want to get a lot I'm not finding any, so hopefully you can see these good enough. Oh, I want you to see them better than that. I gotta get you all day. There we go. <laughs> there, that's better. That's kite time. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> so there's the little guys. There's the little guys.
There's the big guys. They're both very lovely. I like a baby ones. Cause tiny big sizzle, tiny sizzles. I love them both. Oh, this Which ones do you guys like? The big ones or the little ones? I like, I like the big ones. I like this one. A baby. And they each got little yeah, hearts this one is, You would pop it and this one and my sizzle. Oh, yeah. Look, we could even dangle them together. We could add this one down here. Like that. Pop it and gamma. You on the top. And we have this big old long dangle. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe let's make mm. a big old long thing. Yeah, is, is let's okay? make one right away, Grandma. Okay, guys. I hope you have a good morning, yeah, afternoon, yeah. evening, Even wherever you are I in the world. And God, God bless. bless. Bye, bye.